Hello grade 10. Today I want to teach you about factorization. First of all, or first things first, we have to understand the term factorization because you literally cannot do factorization if you do not understand or do not know what factorization means. Okay. So if you take a look here, I gave a definition of what factorization is. This is the reverse process of multiplication. What am I talking about when I talk about multiplication in maths? Basically, if you look at my example, y times x plus 2, what do we have to do here? We have to use the distributive method, whereby we say y multiplied by x, and this will give you x, y, and also y multiplied by 2, which will give you 2y. Now, this is where we start with factorization. As you saw, I multiplied into the bracket. Now, when we say factorize, this simply means that um, you will be given this as a question, x, y plus 2y, and then you'll be asked to factorize this. The word factorization, there's a special word in it, which is factor. We are writing an expression in terms of its factors, okay? And factors must always multiply. So to get the factors of this expression as a whole, as you can see here, we have a factor of y. I'm saying it's a factor because x and y are multiplying, 2 and y are multiplying as well. So to write this as factors, you have to put y on the outside of the entire expression. Initially, the expression was x, y plus 2y, so we took out y. We are doing the reverse now, meaning if I take out y, I'll be left with x plus 2. Now, these are factors because between y and the bracket, there is a little multiplication there. Another way to explain what factorization is, I'm gonna give a clear example, okay? Firstly, I want us to multiply this example of mine, um, x minus y all to the power of three. So x minus y all cubed. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write the same bracket three times according to its exponent as you can see here there it is and then we multiply by using foil or the distributive method whichever works for you you can use it okay so what i'm going to do here i'm going to first multiply the first two brackets by using foil so this is going to give me x squared minus xy minus xy positive y squared now remember, this is only for the first two bracket. I still have the last bracket. Just pause the video, double check if foil is correct here. Then moving on, I'm gonna collect like terms or I'm gonna group like terms within the bracket. So this is gonna be x squared minus two x y because these two terms of mine here, I like terms plus y squared bracket x minus y from here we are now going to multiply the small bracket into the bigger bracket so using the foil method as well this is going to be x to the power of 3 minus 2x squared y plus x y squared and then we multiply back uh, negative y, meaning we are going to have minus x squared y positive 2xy squared minus y to the power of 3. When we look at our like terms, we have those with x squared y, x squared y. And then we have other like terms um, that would be x, y squared and x, y squared. And then x cubed does not have a like term as well as y cubed. Therefore, 
Our final answer now is x to the power of 3. Uh, the green ones would give us negative 3x squared y. The orange ones are going to give us plus 3xy squared. And then the last term, which is y to the power of 3. Guys, as you can see here, I was just multiplying. I was just multiplying the given question, which was x minus y all to the power of 3. When you multiply this, when you take it into that, we call it multiplication of expressions. Or however, we can say we were expanding the expressions. Now, when we talk of factorization, we are taking many terms, as you can see here. We have one, two, three, four terms in total. So we have got these four terms, which we are taking to a single term. So when we talk of factorization, uh, this is the word factorization, or basically taking many terms to a single term or to one term. Please keep that in mind. I just showed you this example so that you can see when we say factorize, an expression at the end of the day or your last answer should be a single term only one term not many terms as you can see when we multiply thank you so much guys uh see you on the next video where i'm going to explain the different types of factorization methods that we have cheers guys